Hello, my loves. How are you guys? I do not own the rights to the Beyonce music. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how that works. I don't own it. Um, I am leaving a shoot. Thank the Lord. I love having a shoot every day, any day. I want to do it during the weekdays. If your birthday is on a weekday and you want to celebrate on your birthday, you have your hair done, you got your nails done, chances are you'll take care of that anyway. Um, let's just go ahead and book a shoot for that evening after you get off work or if you've taken off from work, let's go ahead and book a shoot. Pamper yourself, have some fun right there at the studio. Let's do it on the weekdays, you guys. I don't have a problem with that, do you? This is your special day. Let's celebrate, let's enjoy. Bring a little bottle of bubbly and let's pop it at the studio. What's up? Um, I am now advertising for the sexy fur coat, uh, heels and bodysuit photo shoot. So ladies, come on. I supply the fur coats. For some reason, I have a whole lot of them. Back in my corporate days, I used to think I was this stizzuff. Now I realize that I just got a lot of stizzuff. But let's use it as props. I don't mind. Um, but yeah, come on to the studio and let us take some really um, fun pictures. You know, find your alter ego, step into her shoes and let's just pose let's enjoy and pose and feel free feel a little different for the for 90 minutes you know let's enjoy and and a couple of the pictures you'll be like oh yeah that's i want to put that on my wall in my bedroom and that'll make me feel encouraged on those regular days when you got on your nurse's outfit or you got on your teacher's clothes or you got on your casual, uh, what you call work casual outfit. When you can look at that picture and say, I know how to look a little bit more exciting than this. I know back in the day, way, way, way back, back when glamour shots, I don't know if they still have that stuff, but I did a glamour shot once and um, I still never got my pictures they probably don't exist anymore shoot it was 20 something years ago but it costs so much to get the pictures oh my gosh so now when you take pictures with T.S. Ditto Photography and again that's another reason why I opened my own photography business is because I don't want anybody to feel like they don't have access to their pictures you get all of your pictures you get them all as, as proofs definitely but 20 to 25 of them, you get um, completely processed and you get them in digital file. You can print through my website and that's still, you know, a competitive price with anyone else that you would print with. And um, I would suggest that you print with me because definitely there won't be any head cutoffs or shoulder cutoffs or half the picture cut off because it's not a 17 year old standing behind the little machine that you see at Walgreens or at Walmart or what have you. It's a professional printing company and it is all um, professional processing everything. They make sure that that picture is spotless. So you know, T.S. Ditto Photography, it's real, it's legit, it's registered with the state. My my studio is registered with the city, everything. I have insurance, all of those things. So just go ahead and let's book. And why wait? Why wait till your 50th birthday? You're 49 today. You're not guaranteed your 50th birthday. You're not guaranteed tomorrow. Let's book this shoot now and enjoy life right now. That's the, that's the goal. I'm saying this to say that um, life is short. Life is scary. Um, we need to live life to the fullest. I learned that from Melissa. Um, 
each day is precious. So let's enjoy each day. Find something to do on each day that makes that day stand out. You know, this COVID thing is real and it's really scary. You know, I'm, I am, I have been touched, you know, by the scariness of it. And I have decided that, you know, I'm a person who loves, loves interaction, human interaction. You know, touching, hugging, kisses on the cheek. It's, it's, we're beyond that, you guys. We cannot, we cannot hug. We cannot touch anymore. You know, everything that you touch inside, well, not, I would say not inside your house, but everything inside your house needs to be sanitized, first off. Everything outside your house needs to be sanitized. Bring sanitizer with you. And if you are going to a store, they need to provide it for you to touch their shopping carts. Wipe their shopping cart off. Wear gloves. Um, I had figured out a couple of months ago myself to wear, um, get those dollar gloves from the Dollar Tree. And they are the, the gardening gloves. And with that, you can wash them over and over again. Plus, they got plastic on one side and a cloth on the on the outside, so your hands don't get all um, moist and stuff on the inside. Think about, you know, the pl the plastic gloves. You can um, toss them. You can toss them. But the if you have your own gardening gloves, you could just reuse them and wash them. You know, so. And, and you feel protected everywhere you go. Do not touch your face. Don't touch your face. Because whatever you touch, you know, you're transferring it back to your face. Um, I bought some hand sanitizer for the car. <laughs> this reminds me, my husband said, well, you know, TV's like advertising hand sanitizer. Yeah, hand sanitizer. I bought some for the car. So any interaction that I have with somebody, or even what, touching something outside, touching a doorknob, whatever, I immediately wash or uh, sanitize my hands as soon as I get back in the car. You know, lemon fresh, that's a good smell, you know. And then think about when you're purchasing the hand sanitizer. One thing that I've thought about is uh, there's the cheap kind of hand sanitizer. And when you use that, for some reason it leaves some kind of sticky residue on your hands, which is really uncomfortable. I don't like it. It makes me feel gross. Um, look at the alcohol content that is on the hand sanitizer. So when I looked at this one, that 65% did stand out to me. I mean, I appreciate that. 65% alcohol-based antibacterial hand sanitizer. And it has a fresh lemon scent. I like that. Um, get more for your money. Um... Think about that, but don't get the cheap kind. The cheap kind is the one that I got at um, Dollar Tree. That's the one that leaves the residue, so I won't be buying that anymore. Um, it lasted a good long time, but it just made me feel kind of icky. Um, just protect yourself. No hugs, no kisses. If you see somebody that doesn't have on a mask, keep your distance from that person. Not just six feet. 12 feet. You don't want to be around that person. Why don't they have on a mask? If they don't have on a mask, that means they don't care about their health and they don't care about your health. And, you know, I'm not bashing anybody. No, no, no. Like Judge Judy says, you keep that. You know, send your letter someplace else. Email somebody else. I do not care. My point is, I have to stay healthy for me. You know, and I'm wearing a mask not just for you, but for me, um, to protect myself and to protect you. You know, pray for everybody. Pray for everybody. Pray that this disease goes away, this pandemic that has changed the world. I have friends who have you know babies you know those my friends are a particular age group but if you waited to have a baby and then that baby is now six and you have to all of a sudden you thought you were you know done with 
all that. Well, you couldn't have been because you thought you decided to have a baby. But you thought you could drop your kid off at school and pick that child up at a certain time. Well, we live in a day where school is in your living room or your dining room or whatever room you set up in your house. And you have to get up and prepare that child for school and let that child out for recess. Then go back to class right there in your living room or your dining room or what have you. God bless you. God bless you. And God knows that this was coming. God prepared you for it. And let God please help you get through it. It is rough. And the parents are tired. The parents of these young kids are exhausted. Uh, you know, I have a friend. I'm not going to say your name. You know, I love you. But baby, I feel you. I understand when we get on the phone and I'm thinking, it's only 930 and you're like, I had a full day. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm, I, but can we talk on the phone? No. I have to go to bed because my baby got school in the morning. And it's not dropping the child off at school. It is, I am the teacher. Right here along with the teacher that's on the computer. Nobody would have ever imagined this. Nobody would have ever imagined this. But this is what we live in now. And we don't know how long we will be going through this. You know, so pray for your neighbor. Pray for, you, pray for your family. Pray for yourself that we don't end up with whatever this disease is that's ravaging ravaging I think that's the word our community our world is terrifying and I'm scared I'm scared because I did not think it would touch my situation you know and I'm praying I have been praying so hard. I have been praying so hard that it just goes away in the name of Jesus. Just take it out. Just snatch it out of the bodies, the, the immune systems. The Just take it away, God. It's scary. It's scary. But, like I said on... on the little the little news thing that I was blessed to have, shocked to have, uh, grateful to have, you know, there I'm offering an alternative to being sad, to being afraid. If you come to the studio, we have six feet distance, we have twelve feet, we have a thousand feet. <laughs> Stay over there, but I'm going to take your picture with this long lens. <laughs> I'm going to take your picture with this long lens, you guys. But, I, I, you know, I'm trying to set it up where it's, it is an alternative to being sad. It is an alternative to being stuck at home. We can do a photo shoot outside. The one I just did um, less than an hour ago was outside. And it was beautiful, you know, just, and lately the theme is you bring an old picture, an old picture from way back in the day, and we recreate it. So the funny part is trying to figure out how to pose somebody who used to be three foot tall, and now they're five foot seven, <laughs> was up against their parent who, for some reason... I can't say that to be exactly true. But somehow, the child is maybe a couple of inches taller than the, the parent. Mother, father, whatever. I don't know how. So, there's genetics in there somewhere. We got one real tall cousin. You know who you are. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out where you came from. <laughs> All the rest of us are five foot two, three, and four. But you are not... <laughs> But somebody in the family must have been tall. You know who you are. I'm not going to say your name. <laughs> if I did, I know you'd on me. So I'm not going to say it. But you know who you are. You a big one. 
<laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, the running joke in my family is somehow genetically we are related to pygmies. Now, somebody said that they didn't say it, but I know they said it. They they said they didn't say it after I I brought it. I'm like, I remember you saying it, and now you say you didn't say it. I don't lie. You said it. Now, if you didn't say it, I know what I heard. And if you if you if you say that it was just a joke now, okay, say it was just a joke now, but don't say you didn't say it, because that makes me mad. Anyway, I love everybody. This is my little message for the day. Um, we gotta be careful and we gotta pray. And I will say everything that I pray about, everything that I live, um, let me see how you turn the blinker off. Everything that I, um, each and every day, each and every situation that I live through is all by faith. Every situation that I go through is by faith. So, if I don't have enough gas money, somehow, I give it to God. I just say, Lord, I don't have enough gas money. What am I going to do? Tell me what to do, Lord. And then somehow, it just occurs or I end up with the gas money. It's not it's not something that I can explain. It's just something that happens. Every situation is by faith. I'm hungry. What am I supposed to do? God, tell me how am I supposed to feed myself right now at this very moment. And I end up with a meal and I thankful to Jesus and that's all I can say is thank you God thank you God you know I suggest if you don't know and if you one of those people that sit there and worry and be oh, oh and I'm, I live with one of those people just worry what am I going to do what am I going to do did you ask God did you ask God to take care of it to fix it because everything that I ask God for, I receive. And that's the truth. If you don't give it to God, how do you expect your question or your problem to be resolved? So, even with this COVID thing, even with people who have, you know, illnesses, that that you just all all you could do is just pray that God takes it away, take it away, Lord, take it away, remove it, make it gone, in the name of Jesus. Take the stress away, take the pain away, take the illness away, take the suffering away. Take the lack of away. Bring abundance, Lord. Abundance in the name of Jesus for each and every one of us. When I pray, I pray for my individually. I pray for specific people. And then I pray generally for specific groups like in-laws and cousins and aunts and uncles and I always pray for my family and friends all over the world I say it, it just like that and I pray for my clients I pray for my enemies I pray for my neighbors and that we are all saved by the grace and the love of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ Amen, amen, amen. I just want everybody to have faith, trust in God for everything. Whatever it is that you are lacking right now, ask God to provide, and he will. I love you. 
you have a blessed day of course after a photo shoot I always get excited so I have to share but um I hope that I was able to help somebody anybody you know anybody that cares to listen and um walk in faith always love you guys talk to you later bye